miles per hour. Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, no severe weather here in southern New England, although we did see some showers moving through the area, especially down in the coastal regions. Northern part of the area, though, staying pretty dry throughout the majority of the day. Let's take a look right now at East Providence here, where no rain moving through right now. Still have some scattered showers working through kind of more towards the south shore, and we're going to see some scattered showers lingering on into the overnight. Temperatures right now pretty cool out there in the upper 40s, low 50s. Taunton still at 51 hanging on there, uh, but in the 40s in the rest of Rhode Island here, 49 in Providence, 48 in Narragansett, and 46 in Coventry. Temperatures are going to cool down to the upper 40s for the overnight low. So as I mentioned, looking at some lingering showers overnight tonight into Sunday morning, but mainly down at the coast, inland not really going to be seeing much more rain for the rest of the night here. We're looking at a drier and brighter Sunday overall with a mix of sunshine and clouds throughout the day and seasonable temps as well, staying kind of right around the low 60s although a warm up is expected as we head towards midweek. Let's take a look at the wind gust forecast though, where as this storm moves offshore, it's going to kick back uh, kind of some rough surf and some stronger winds, especially out towards the sounds. You can see at 530 in the morning, continuing on throughout the morning hours uh, into the early afternoon. We're going to see stronger wind gusts out towards the sound. So Block Island should be aware of uh, wind gusts around 30 miles an hour here. Farther inland, we're going to be sticking right around 20. Although the good news is these winds are going to start to decrease as we head towards Sunday evening. Let's take a look at your satellite and radar here. You can still see some showers working their way through the coastal areas, but the rest of our area is staying pretty dry right now, despite some clouds moving through. On a wider scale, here's the system that we've been tracking here. You can see a majority of this has stayed to our south. We did get some heavier rainfall earlier this evening, but for the most part, we kind of steered clear of a large part of the system, which is a good thing. We don't really need any more rain here. This is going to continue to track to our east and move out of the area just in time for Sunday morning. And let's take a look at your Sunday here. So as we go into the overnight, again, some lingering showers, especially towards the south shore here in coastal areas, but looking a lot better for the start of your day on Sunday with that mix of clouds and sun throughout the day here. Highs are going to be in the upper 50s, low 60s across the area and looking to stay dry as we head towards Sunday night as well. So let's take a look at your Sunday morning again, starting off a little bit cooler in the upper 40s with that lingering shower possible, but kind of seeing that more so at the coast, staying mostly cloudy and breezy throughout the day. Again, your highs are going to be in the low 60s by the afternoon, not looking too bad, kind of another crisp and cool fall day. Your seven day forecast here not looking too bad for the start to the week. We do have a chance for a shower or two on Tuesday, but looking to stay relatively dry until unfortunately tracking some more showers again for next weekend. So right now it looks like if you're looking to do anything for the fall, Thursday might be the best day to go to a pumpkin patch or something. Well, even tomorrow, really, if people have the rest of the weekend off, we're going to stay dry really throughout the entire day. So not not too bad of an end of the weekend, despite today being a little rainy. All right. Thanks so much. Still ahead in sports, the Patriots made some key moves today. Up